Today I'm going to show you how to change the navigation bars colors when scrolling past different sections. So for example, when you look over this website, we have the navigation bar colors in white and then they turn into black when we reach this section right here and then they go to white again. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this logo right here that changes its color based on the different sections and um, of course if you want to add it as an image you won't be able to change its color and you'll need to do it uh, in other way so the way i do it um, i go to webflow and i add an embed block like this and then i paste the svg code from the design software that i use inside of it so i use figma and i'm going to show you how i do it so i select the logo and then i right click on it and I click right here copy as SVG. So let's do this and then I paste the code. So let's delete this. I paste it and I have this code right here that will show the logo. And the next thing that you want to do is uh, press Ctrl or Command F and uh, you want to search for fill. And not this one, the next one right here where it says white or whatever uh, the color the logo your logo has and you want to delete that and to write current color like this and click on save and close so what it does it allows us to change the color inside of webflow under typography right here color and you'll be able to change the logo's color right like this and uh, the other thing that I want to talk about, we are going to change the logo color and also the links color. And um, again, we are going to change the one under typography right here. So you need to be careful of this when we are going to do the interactions. So now that we are going to create the interaction, I'm going to explain you very simple how it works. So uh, if you look at the navigation bar right now, it is white. And then when we reach this white section right here, it turns into black. And then it turns into white again when we reach this section right here. And if we scroll back up, it turns into black and then white again. Um, so the thing is that with this interaction, when we are going to create it, um, we are going to add an iteration called scroll into view in Webflow. And it, it, it can be a bit hard to understand, but I try to make it very simple. So let's go into Webflow. And I'm going to add um, on this section right here, uh, I'm going to add an interaction. And under element trigger, again, I'm going to add scroll into view, the interaction that we are going to use. And if you look right here, it has two parts uh, when scrolled into view and then when scrolled out of view. So this interaction has two parts. Um, so let's say that we want to add an animation when, when scrolled into view. And if you look right here, it says offset 0% and it has this icon right here. And let's say that we want to add another animation when scrolled out of view. It has again offset 0% and it has another icon right here. So the thing is that um, I'm going to explain you what this means, what offset means. And I created um, a project right here to show you how this works so let's say that we are going to scroll that section and we are scrolling down on it and then down again and if you notice these red bars it shows you where you are uh, on that offset from before so the way that you need to think about that offset is let's say that you want to add an interaction on this um, section when scrolled into view let's say that you want the interaction to start playing right when we start scrolling on that section and you should add on that offset you want the interaction to start playing at zero percent because that's when it starts um playing right from the start or right when we start start scrolling on that section so the red bar shows you where you are uh, when you scroll so um, let's say that you don't want it to start playing right when that section enters our screen you want to start play playing when we are about uh, in the middle of that section and that means if you look at the red bar right here we are we are at about 50 percent of it 
uh, and that's what you should add right here on that interaction because um, uh, that's when the, the interaction will start playing. Um, so this is the easiest way that I can explain you. This is the interaction when scrolling to view, but then if we scroll down, we have the out of view interaction and that red bar right here that shows you where we are and where we should add the interaction. So let's say that uh, you want the interaction to start playing right when um, the interaction starts scrolling the um, right when we start scrolling down on that section and you sh it should start at 100% it says right here but if you want it to start playing when we are in the middle of it you should write uh, 50% so right here when it says offset and another thing is that if you look at the icons it shows right here that the bar is at the top on uh, when scrolled out of view and if we look on the project the bar is at the top so this is the easiest, easiest way that i can explain you how this interaction works the other thing that it is a bit more complicated and uh, it took me a while to understand is that when we scroll down on this section right here again it has two parts the in view and then out of view um, inter uh, animation of uh, the interaction so part of the interaction and uh, this interaction of course because it has two parts it works just one way so just when we scroll down so when we reach uh, this section right here we we should say when scroll into view i want it to turn black and then when we scroll it out of view i want it to turn black for the next section so this is the uh, again it works only one way and then when we reach this section we should say right here uh, when scrolled out of view i want it to turn into black for this section right here and then for this one right here when scroll into view it should turn into white uh, it is a bit hard to understand but um, let me show you again so when scrolled down the interaction works just one way so you mean imagine that this section right here is the white one when scroll into view it is black and then when scrolled out of view when we reach zero percent right here we want it to turn into um white for that last section and then when we reach that section imagine that the last section is this one right here when scrolled out of view right here I want it when it is about 0% to turn into black for the white section, the one right here. And for this one, we aren't going to add again uh, nothing when we go up. But for the one at the top, we are going to add when scrolled into view, I want it to turn into white. So again, it works just one way. So let me show you again the website. Uh, when we scroll down, we don't have any interaction right here when we scroll down, but we have on this one right here again. Uh, when scrolled into view, I want it to turn into black. When scrolled out of view, I want it to turn white. When on this one, when scrolled out of view, I want it to, to turn black for this one. And on this one right here, when scrolled into view, I want it to turn into white. So this is how the interactions should work. So let me show you how, um, let's start adding this and hopefully it, we, it will make a lot more sense. So let's say, so we are on the white section. We added the screen to view interaction, uh, start animation right here. And we are going to add an interaction so let's say, uh, let's call this navigation bar white, black, because we want it to turn to black. And we are going to select the, the logo right here. And again, we are going to add it as text color because um, this is where we added the color before under typography. And we are going to set it to uh, black and then we are going to select the the text right here and we are going to add it again as a text color and we are going to change this to black 
and uh, uh, for the duration we are going to set it to zero because we don't add, want um, the animation to really uh, to really see it we want it to change very fast and we are going to click on save and again on the offset right here uh, let's look again on that example so we don't want it to change the navigation bar to change when we are at zero percent because uh, it will change right before we um when we are uh, on that black section so i'm going to show you we don't want it, it it to change into black when um the the section right here starts entering we want it to change right when we are at about 90 percent or something like that and we actually enter that section if you look right here so um again right here when we are at 90 percent we want it to change so we are going to write right here 90 percent and then we are going to add when scroll out of view for the next section right here we want it to turn into white so if you look closely it turns into white so we are going to add another animation and we are going to call this one navigation bar white and we are going to select again the logo text color and white duration zero um this one i have it as gray save and then again uh, for the offset right here let's look um on the example that i have so we don't want it to start um the navigation bar to start um to start changing its colors uh, right at 100 right when we uh, i start scrolling down we want it to change when we are about uh, or zero, uh, either zero percent or ten percent. When we are about here, we want it to change into white. The way I have it, I have it at uh, ten percent. So we are getting closely to um, exiting that section, and it turns into white at ten percent. So I'm going to add here ten percent. So if we preview that interaction right now, when we scroll down, it turns into black and then white. But if we go up, it doesn't work, of course. Again, when you scroll down, black, white. So we want to add the interaction um, for the, uh, the interaction when we scroll back up. So we go again um, on the website and we want to add to the footer uh, again scroll into view and then right here when scrolled out of view we want to add the animation uh, for it to start um, to turn into black again for this section right here and we are going to select the um, the animation that we created turn right here black and then for the offset right here um, if we preview the website that uh, I have created, again, we want it to um, change, to turn to black when we are about right here. So let's say what this means if we look on the example that I show you. So again, when we scroll uh, up, this is what we use. We are using the out of view interaction. So we are going to look at the red bar right here. So we want it to turn into black when we are at about right here so it should mean 90 percent um so let's go and add it right here so when we are at 90 percent we want it to turn into black and then we when we look again over that um website we want it to turn into white right when we enter this section right here so we are going to select the the uh, the section the section at the top add again scroll into view and then we are going to add when scrolled into view right here an animation 
we are going to select white and for the offset we are going to leave it to zero so let's look on the um, on the website that i created right here that shows so when we enter it we want it to turn into white right exactly when we enter it so it should be at zero percent like it sh shows right here so let's publish this and look how it works so it turns into black white then black again and it should turn into white right here but if you look closely it doesn't work again when we scroll back up so the thing is that we need to add um, a false trigger how i call it um, because if we look for example on the section of the tab right here we have the interaction added only when scrolled into view but the thing is that we need to add when scrolled out of view too even if we don't want to add anything there and the way that i do this again i add an animation and i'm going to create a false animation and um, i'm going to click right here and i'm going to call it navigation bar false and uh, i'm going to take again the logo right here uh, and i'm going to add it as opacity doesn't matter um, duration zero percent and just leave it to 100 even if it doesn't do nothing it is um, uh, again it is a false trigger i'm going to select the text now again opacity and leave it to 100 and the duration to zero and this is the false trigger and we are going to do the same for the footer because we only added it on the out of view we are going to add it on uh, into view like this and the thing is that uh, i forgot to add the opacity for them so i added 100 percent offset for all the false uh, false animations so zero percent right here and then on the footer i add it um again 100 percent um and uh, let's preview this again so again white then it turns into black and then white again black and white so it works as it should so let's recap again what we've created we added the logo as an svg code inside an embed block inside of webflow so we can be able to change its color and then we uh, split the interaction into two uh, the one that plays when we scroll down and then the one that scrolls when we uh, scroll back up uh, we added the first interaction on the um, on the white section right here so when you scroll into view it turns into black and then when you scroll out of view it turns into white on this section right here we added an interaction that uh, it says when scrolled out of view it turns into black for this section right here and then on this one right here we added another interaction uh, for the navigation bar to turn into white when we enter it so again if you uh, add a scroll into view interaction you should you look on this website right here um, that i've created so when you scroll down um, this is how the animation plays and then when you scroll up the percentages change and the interactions work differently and this is why we split the interactions into and you have to keep this in mind whenever you use the screen to view interaction so thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video